Novena to St. Joseph, Day 6. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. O St. Joseph, whose protection is so great, so strong, so prompt before the throne of God, I place in you all my interests and desires. O St. Joseph, do assist me by your powerful intercession and obtain for me from your divine Son all spiritual blessings through Jesus Christ, our Lord, so that, having experienced here below your heavenly power, I may offer my thanksgiving and homage to the most loving of fathers. O St. Joseph, I never weary of contemplating you and Jesus asleep in your arms. I dare not approach why he reposes near your heart. Hold him close in my name and kiss his fine head from me and ask him to return the kiss when I draw my dying breath. St. Joseph, patron of departing souls, pray for me. Amen. Day 6. Joseph, patron of families. St. Joseph, I venerate you as the gentle head of the Holy Family. The Holy Family was the scene of your life's work in its origin, in its guidance, in its protection, in your labor for Jesus and Mary, and even in your death in their arms. You lived, moved, and acted in the loving company of Jesus and Mary. The inspired writer describes your life at Nazareth in only a few words. And Jesus went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject to them. Luke chapter 2 verse 51 Yet these words tell of your high vocation here on earth and the abundance of graces which filled your soul during those years spent in Nazareth. Your family life at Nazareth was all radiant with the light of divine charity. There was an intimate union of heart and mind among the members of your holy family. There could not have been a closer bond than that uniting you to Jesus, your foster son, and to Mary, your most loving wife. Jesus chose to fulfill toward you, his foster father, all the duties of a faithful son, showing you every mark of honor and affection due to a parent. And Mary showed you all the signs of respect and love of a devoted wife. You responded to this love and veneration from Jesus and Mary with feelings of deepest love and respect. You had for Jesus a true fatherly love, and kindled and kept a glow in your heart by the Holy Spirit. And you could not cease to admire the workings of grace in Mary's soul. And this admiration caused the holy love which you had consecrated to her on the day of your wedding, grow stronger every day. God has made you a heavenly patron of family life because you sanctified yourself as head of the Holy Family and thus by your beautiful example, sanctified family life. How peacefully and happily the Holy Family rested under the care of your fatherly rule, even in the midst of trials. You were the protector, counselor, and consolation of the Holy Family in every need. And just as you were the model of piety, so you gave us by your zeal, your earnestness, and devout trust in God's providence, and especially by your love, the example of labor according to the will of God. You cherished all the experiences common to family life and the sacred memories of the life sufferings, and joys in the company of Jesus and Mary. Therefore, the family is dear to you as the work of God, and it is of the highest importance in your eyes to promote the honor of God and the well-being of man. In your loving fatherliness and unfailing intercession, you are the patron and intercessor of families, and you deserve a place in every home. St. Joseph, I thank God for your privilege of living in the Holy Family and being its head. 
as a token of your own gratitude to God, obtain God's blessing upon my own family. Make our home the kingdom of Jesus and Mary, a kingdom of peace, of joy, and love. I also pray for all Christian families. Your hope is needed in our day when God's enemy has directed his attack against the family in order to desecrate and destroy it. In the face of these evils, as patron of families, be pleased to help. And as of old, you arose to save the child and his mother, so today arise to protect the sanctity of the home. Make our home sanctuaries of prayer, of love, of patient sacrifice, and of work. May they be modeled after your own at Nazareth. Remain with us with Jesus and Mary so that by your help we may obey the commandments of God and of the Church, receive the holy sacraments of God and of the Church, live a life of prayer, and foster religious instruction in our homes. Grant that we may be reunited in God's kingdom and eternally live in the company of the Holy Family in heaven. Novena Prayer Saint Joseph, I, your unworthy child, greet you. You are the faithful protector and intercessor of all who love and venerate you. You know that I have special confidence in you, and that, after Jesus and Mary, I place all my hope of salvation in you, for you are especially powerful with God and will never abandon your faithful servants. Therefore, I humbly invoke you and commend myself with all who are dear to me, and all that belong to me, to your intercession. I beg of you, by your love for Jesus and Mary, not to abandon me during life, and to assist me at the hour of my death. Glorious Saint Joseph, spouse of the Immaculate Virgin, obtain for me a pure, humble, charitable mind, and perfect resignation to the divine will. Be my guide, my Father, and my model through life, that I may merit to die, as you did, in the arms of Jesus and Mary. Loving Saint Joseph, faithful follower of Jesus Christ, I raise my heart to you to implore your powerful intercession in obtaining from the divine heart of Jesus all the graces necessary for my spiritual and temporal welfare, particularly the grace of a happy death and the special grace I now implore. Guardian of the Word Incarnate, I feel confident that your prayers in my behalf will be graciously heard before the throne of God. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us pray. Hail, Guardian of the Redeemer, Spouse of the Blessed Virgin Mary, to you God entrusted his only Son. In you Mary placed her trust, with you Christ became man. Blessed Joseph, to us too, show yourself a father, and guide us in the path of life. Obtain for us grace, mercy, and courage. Defend us from every evil. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.